Hi guys, it's Lori with While We Still Can. Um, I am thrilled with these awnings. <laughs> they provide so much shade. Rocky and I live on a lake and it is just beastly hot and there's lots of trees. Um, so we get a little bit of shade, but where the rig sits, um, because of the way um, we're oriented, this thing is going to get really, really hot. So I put all of the awnings out. Look at how much shade you get with this thing. It is just amazing. Let's talk about a couple of the modifications, backslash upgrades that I did. First place we're going to head is over to the furnace vents. At least I believe that's what these are. So you can get these off of Amazon. They're relatively cheap. And you can put these little screens over so that um, bees and things don't make their nests in there. It's really kind of critical that you do that. So um, do it today. Order them quick. They're relatively easy to get on. Then I have the snap pads from our old rig and we cleaned them up a little bit and we're going to be putting them on when we, uh, right before we hook up. And the way to put the snap pads on is you use dishwashing soap to get them lubricated a little bit and then just bring the rig down on them and they snap relatively easy back on the jack feet. Then on the inside... I'm not quite done yet, but it's pretty close. So if you guys aren't aware of Ruggables, I absolutely love them. We had them in our last rig. I put a Ruggable in our garage so that it's more of a living space when we're parked somewhere for, you know, in any length of time. The motorcycles go out with the e-bikes and then Rocky sleeps back here because he snores horribly and we both like our sleep. So he's... <laughs> He stays back here while I stay up in the front. So we put this ruggable back here. There will be a 2 by 7 runner in front of the couch, the same color. They sent me the wrong one, so I had to send the other one back. Then this for the sink. Um, I got the silicone pad so we don't scratch up the sink. And this guy was supposed to fit back here, but it doesn't. So I'm getting some industrial tape. And we'll just tape that in place so it stays put. That way, when I put my sponges and things back here, it won't get all wet everywhere. It'll just drain back down into the sink. Then up in the bedroom, here's what we did here. So we have a ruggable up here, too. And those are the three rugs that we're going to have in here. These things are machine washable. You peel them right off of the backing. Bear with me for a second. And there, yes, there's dog hair on there because it was out of our other rig. And that's kind of what keeps it secure and from slipping around on the floor. And then you peel it off of that, throw it in the washing machine because it's really small. And they're amazing. And you can imagine with dogs, we're washing these rugs a lot. The other small modification I did was, here's what I did with this cupboard so far. I'm going to keep my clothes in here. And then I labeled everything so I knew what was in there. Um, and then I found little containers that go in back of these. So you slide them out and I've got little containers back there. And for this one, I have um, some Christmas stuff and tablecloths back in there that I don't use as often. In the closet, we ended up getting um, the vacuum cleaner installed. And I'm putting my broom in here as well. So you're going to want to use a magnet. And you can find the plate that you mount to on the wall right there. And the screw links, I believe, are 1 and 5 eighths. I'll put it in a comment below so that you know specifically what length of screw you can use. But that's going to be, that's nice and sturdy there now. And all set. That about is where we are right now. We leave in a little over a week. I put a, um, a non-slip um, mat in the tub. I have still have blood clot issues in my leg, and my leg likes to go out from under me, so I am just ultra careful because I don't want to lose any more camping time. Then we put this canvas here, and I got a little sign up there that says Adventure Awaits, and the sign back there um, in that green color. And that's where we are. Um, also, remember when I asked about... The um, DVD player. Someone on YouTube, one of our subscribers, was kind enough to 
let me know. I'm just getting the um, step stool here. That's another tip too if you guys are first timers. So this is the step stool that I use because I'm I'm only 5'3 and I really need this thing to reach some of the higher shelves and stuff. So this one where it says close, you just grab it and it folds right up. And I've chosen to fold, um, put place it right behind that door right there and it fits just fine. And then when you open it, it just pops right open. So anyway, the gentleman told me about 90 degree HDMI adapters. Ha ha ha. So I bought one of those and it fits right down into the hole that we drilled. And then I um, cut just a small piece of plywood to boost it. And I have some commercial two-sided tape coming so that we won't have to mess with this when we're traveling. So I can't thank you guys enough for all the tips that you've sent um, us and messaged me. They've all been very helpful, including, <laughs> and we, we have had a um, toy hauler before, including when you open or close the patio, this door should be open because that relieves the pressure. That's how sealed it is in here. It's really hard to close it when you've got this door shut. So make sure you got that door open. That's my RV tip of the week. All right. Oh, and these, we had to put that up there too. I have an Indian, so I had to get my sign up. And that's about it. I hope you guys are getting close to picking up your G. Can't wait to hear about your adventures and um, where you're going to go with it and how it's going. I hope you guys have a great day and get out there while you still can. Sorry, one other little tip. So it's very tempting to put things on these walls because they're empty. But remember that your slide comes in, so you only have this much space right here for something to clear it. And if for some reason, if you use command strips or whatever, if for some reason they let loose, that thing's going to fall down. And are you going to be able to reach in there or remember to look in there to grab it? So that's something to think about as you are decorating your rig. Keep your slides in mind.